Good morning, East Texas. A stormy start to your first week of 2017 out there. In fact, we're in severe weather mode as we speak, and it's a first alert weather day, especially the first half of your Monday. Check it out. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings here. Western shaded counties through about 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. for the eastern shaded counties. Again, a large chunk of East Texas now under a severe thunderstorm warning. That means that severe weather is imminent. A watch means that the conditions are favorable. A warning means that it is imminent, and that's what we're seeing right now as a large squall line continues to kind of bow out. You see that curvature fixture there with this line of storms? That indicates winds gusting out, pushing this line of storms very quickly to the east at about 50 miles per hour, and those winds translate down to the ground, so that's why we're seeing some damaging winds of 60 to 75 miles per hour indicated by radar now continuing to work its way off towards the east and moving into the central sections of East Texas as we speak. So folks from Mineola right across 69, if you're traveling now, into Smith County, you're running into some very gusty winds. In fact, you probably had to pull off towards the side of the road. That extends now down into the western half of Smith County and also down towards uh, northwestern sections of Cherokee County as we speak. So let's take in even a little closer and put a storm tracker on this here. I want to show you the timing of this. And Tyler, this line of storms is just booking it off towards the east. So we're talking less than probably probably around five minutes or so, I would say, to try to keep up with this line of storms as it moves east. Probably around 10 minutes or so, this line of storms will be working its way into White House. Overton in about 30 minutes. So you get the idea. If you've got to head out on the roadways, if the kids are heading to the bus stop, you probably want to hold them inside and wait. Maybe even have them be a car rider and just take the, you know, not miss the bus there this morning because we're talking about the potential of some very gusty winds making their way through, along with the frequent lightning, heavy downpours, and even the potential of some small to moderate hail showing up across the region. Across deep east Texas, we had a cluster of strong to severe storms move ahead of the main line of storms. So you have warnings still left over in the portions of Nacogdoches County, but these lines are now continuing to make its way off towards the east. But folks in Huntington, within less than 10 minutes, less than 15 minutes now, this will be moving into Nacogdoches and down towards the Timpson area within the next 40 minutes or so. Behind that, look at this. The squall line continues to fill in down towards the south and west. So you folks over deep east Texas, this is not the main event, even though there's a lot of lightning, a lot of gusty winds with it. This is the main event, and that will be working its way in behind this initial uh, little batch of storms moving through the region. So let's talk about the watches now. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect from the west and northwestern section through 9 a.m., although that squall line now beginning to clear the area, so this will likely be allowed to expire soon. But the tornado watch picks up to the east of that for the rest of East Texas here, and that goes until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now, the line of storms should be out of here well before then, but even throughout the morning hours, we'll be watching for damaging winds as the main threat, but could see an isolated spin up or two along that line. So we'll keep you updated on that. So here we go through this morning, 8 a.m., we're seeing the storms moving through. By 10, 11 a.m., it's in the eastern sections. It's out of here by lunchtime. So if you have any afternoon plans, no problems expected. In fact, sunshine returns and highs climb into the lower 70s. It'll actually be a pretty nice day after we get past the stormy weather this morning. Now, we're mild heading into your Tuesday as well before a surge of Arctic air moves in Wednesday. A secondary surge arrives on Friday. Friday, there will be a weak disturbance moving across the Lone Star State. So north of that in the blue shaded area, yeah, we've got the possibility the possibility of a little wintry mix. But again, it's just a chance. We'll fine-tune the details as we get closer. But today, a first alert weather day in effect, especially for the first half of your morning, 100% chance of strong and severe storms moving in.